Hello students. In this video, we are going to show you how to simplify two numbers where at least one of the numbers is a mixed number. So let's have a look at this question up here. 4 is to 3 and 2 thirds. Well, to start with, we're going to write each of these as a fraction. So 4 we write as 4 over 1. 3 and 2 thirds, well 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11, so that becomes 11 thirds. The next step is to then get a common denominator. So in this case, the common denominator will be 3. So the 11 over 3 just stays the same. And here I think 1 times 3 is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So I just rewrote that with a new denominator of 3. And finally, because the denominators are the same, we can rewrite that as just 12 is to 11. And that's in simplest form, so that's as far as we need to go. Okay, why don't you have a go at the remaining three questions and then restart the video and see how you went. Okay, let's have a go at this question here. Two and a half is to three is uh, three and one fifth. So to start with, we write each of these as an improper fraction. So two times two is four plus one is five. So that's going to be five over two. Five times three is 15 plus one is 16. So that's going to be 16 is to five. Okay, now we have to find the common denominator. So we have two and five. Common denominator is 10. So we'll write each of those with a base of 10 or denominator of 10. Two times five is 10. Five times five is 25. Five times two is 10. 16 times two is 32. Now that we have a common denominator, we can rewrite the ratio just using the numerators. So we have 25 is to 32. And once again, they cannot be simplified. So that's the final, well, that's already simplified, I should say. So that's the final answer. Third question, write the first number as an improper fraction. Six times three is 18 plus five is 23 over six. And the second one we just write is two over one. Any whole number can be written with one in the denominator. So six is going to be our common denominator. Um, 23 on six stays the same. One times six is six. Two times six is 12. And again, because the denominators are the same, we can just write that as the ratio of the numerators. And once again, that's already simplified, so we don't need to go any further on that one. Okay, the last question. Write one and three quarters as four times one is four plus three is seven. So that becomes seven over four. Two times three is six plus two is eight. So that becomes 8 over 3. Okay, we now need to get a common denominator. Well, the common denominator of 4 and 3 is 12. 4 times 3 is 12. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 4 is 12. 8 times 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 8 times 4 is 32. So once again, the denominators are the same. Oops, let me just undo that to get rid of that ugly looking equal sign. Denominators are the same. So we can equate the numerators or just compare the numerators. 21 is to 32. And once again, there's no common factor. So that's the final answer.